Hello all, welcome to the new episode of Kelo Chess India and as you have already seen today's topic is going to be the chess databases. In this video we are going to solve all your questions regarding the databases and I am also going to teach you how you can use a free chess database software at the end of the video. So keep watching. So the first question, what is a chess database? So we have a lot of tournaments going on in the entire world in different corners and from each tournament the games are collected and they are compressed into or they are collected into one single file called as the database. So in simple words, database is just a collection of the games from the best tournaments happening all over the world. Next question is what is the use of database? Database can be used to study the games or study the openings. You can also study Grandmaster games from the database and also you can use it to study the patterns or middle game and end game ideas. Now the next big question is are the databases free or do you need to pay for them? The answer is yes. There are two types of databases. One are the free databases and the second are the paid databases. Now in the free databases we have leeches.com database, then we have Kesa database, we have Skid database, the software, we also have Kingbase software and etc. In the paid we have Chessbase software, we have ChessDB site, we have 365 chess and chessgames.com and there are many other websites that you can visit to get the paid ones. But in this video we are going to focus on the free databases. So friends the next question is what is the chess database software? Database software knows how to read any chess database. It understands the games, moves, patterns in the database and once you install the database in your laptop or your computer then you can check openings, games, patterns etc and improve your game. Next and the most important question is how to use a chess database software and we are going to learn today with an example of the Skid. Skid is an open source software you can download it for free there are no charges and you also get a free database with it. In this video we are going to see how to download the Skid software, how to install it and how to use it. So make sure you don't miss any step. To download the software you have to visit this website skid.sourceforge.net and after you visit this website this will be the interface here you have to click on download. Once you click download this page will open and your download will start in few seconds. The setup is around 140 MB so depending upon your internet connection it might take some time for download. After the download is complete you can see a file like this and you have to double click this file it will first ask you for your agreement you can click on accept and click on next then it will ask you in which folder you want to save the software or you want to install the software you can give the correct location or you can keep it as it is and click on next here click on next again do not change any options on the screen just click on next here it will show you the details that we have just selected. Just click on install. No need to wait on this page. Now the installation is complete and it will ask if we want to launch the skid. Click on finish. It should launch the software. When the program starts, you will always see this tooltip. You can just close this window and then maximize the screen. This is how the interface looks like. This is the actual chess database software which is a skid. Now we will just quickly look at all the things that we are seeing on the screen. This is the database window. It shows you all the games that is 127 key games that is 1,27,000 games are there in this database and the latest games are up to 2016. Then you have a notation window wherein you will see the game that you are currently studying. On the left hand side this is a chess board and I have made one more d4 on the board right now. Next important thing is the window option on the top. This will enable you to open or close any of the windows that are there. Next we are going to see how to start the stockfish engine. You can see a window here on stockfish and here you have to click on play. After you click on it will start showing you some moves then you can increase the number of threads also. So if you make any moves on the board you will see that these moves are changing. For example, at this current position, it suggests that Bishop G7 can be played for black. 
you can increase or decrease this again the threads number of threads that you want and you can get more options at this position for black or for white depending upon whose move it is you can also stop again this engine by clicking here so in short you can use the engine at any position to find out which were the best moves for which side now let's go to the next part in the database section now you can see all the games which are mentioned over here and you have the option of sorting the games by clicking on the column names for example if we click on date all the games will be sorted by the date so that you can check the latest games or the oldest games depending upon your choice to open any game just double click on the game and the game will get loaded in the notation window and now we are going to check how to search any game based on a position for this first you need to click on game and then you have to click on new game once you click on the new game it will ask you what you have to do of this current window or the current game you can click on discard and continue or if you want to save you can save the game once you click on discard and continue then it will give you this new board on this position this is the beginning position and suppose now you want to learn the Rubinstein variation of the French defense okay so what I'll do is I'll make the moves on the board I will reach the position where I want to find the games from just to mention here that you also have an option to enable the book here all you have to do is to click on window and click on book window it will show you a book window over here where it will show you what is the next move in the book for this player so it suggests knight takes e4 you can also click on the moves which you want to play on the book window for example knight f3 i can click i can click ngf6 and then knight takes f6, knight takes f6 and bishop d3. So you can just click on the moves in the book section. And this is the position which I want to study now. What will white play after this position? So I can search this position in the database by clicking the search current board. And after clicking on current board, it will show you this window. Just click on search new filter. It will filter all the games for you and you can see here you can see 52 games in this position from the available database and then you can click on any of the games and it will again ask you what you want to do of this current game you can just click on discard and it will load the game in your game notation window you can see the names of both the players you can see the rating you can see the photos and you can also see the moves on the top of the window so you can just click on any game and it will load the game data in this window and you can just keep scrolling and try to find different moves which were played in this position by white and you can prepare yourself from black this is for the French defense but you can do it for any opening any position you can search any position in this database and it will give you a lot of games which you can use and build up your opening repertoire next beautiful feature of this skilled software is to find the player and get the player statistics for that you have to click on search and click on player finder after you click on player finder it will show you this window where you can type here the name of the player for example we type it as Anand if you press enter then it will show us the player name over here in the results we can click on the name and it will load up all the data in this window in the player window where you can see complete statistics of that player how many games this player has played till now what is the rating history of this player from each year that he started playing and then you can see that how many games he has played from white or he has played from black it can also show you the rating chart if you click on this option it will show you the rating chart now if you want to check all the games of this player you can just click on this number of games which is given there and then you have to click on the database window which is here at the bottom it will show you all the games of this player from both white and black sides if you want to check the games only from one particular side for example if you want to check only the games which were played from white side you can always click on this number given in front of the white then it will display all the games played by this player from white side similarly you can also check the black side games by clicking the link over there and there are multiple links which you can click in this information page and then check the different data on that page having a beautiful database like this always give you options to follow your favorite grandmaster check his games and learn from his or her opening preparations 
it takes huge efforts to research and collect all this data and information and prepare these beautiful videos for you chess lovers so make sure guys you subscribe to the channel share with your friends and put your comments in the comment section if you have any questions so there are a lot of features that i want to discuss about skilled which will be coming soon in part 2 and part 3 of the kilo chess india's chess tech series thanks for watching guys meet you soon in the next video